It's been amazing. Look at just how many people there are on the street. I can't begin to say how what a terrible time our community has had in the last couple of years and it's so wonderful to have a, a celebration like this where a community can come together and in Llanid Lois or Lanny as everybody calls it around here I just am so proud of our, my community they just get together so well and we're, we've looked after each other for the last two years and it's just great to get everybody together today and enjoy all ages are here from little tots to a hundred years old and it means so much to everybody that we can all come together like this. Yes, and of course we're celebrating the Platinum Jubilee today for the Queen and uh, I remember the Silver Jubilee uh, and the Golden. Um, so it's something to celebrate and the sun has come out, Planet Lois is amazing. The community is fabulous. There must be hundreds of people here at the moment and more coming and the sun is out so the more the sun comes out the more people come out. We've got um, children's races, we've got arts, we've got a pop-up uh, history display here, we've got live music all through the day, we've got the cheerleading dancers coming. Um, I can't begin to even say what else we've got. There's so many things happening today. Uh, the hanging baskets have got free food for the children. Um, we are having, um, as trying to have a zero waste uh, jubilee celebration uh, where everybody's brought their own cup and their mugs and their plates and they will be taking their own rubbish home hopefully um, but also there's a rugby in the rugby club tonight there's a live music for any for us older ones that want to let our hair down after we've all finished clearing up I'm Angela Swindell and I've been involved in organising the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, particularly the Thanksgiving service and musical celebration which we held on Thursday uh, in the community centre. The streets are starting to fill up. Uh, Would you like to tell me a little bit about your uh, how you came to organise this? Well, yeah, I turned up to a meeting back in February uh, to represent my choir uh, and was then asked to organise the rest of the Thursday evening celebrations and we had um, the Thanksgiving service to start with in the community centre, uh, followed by poets from the schools in Planet Lois. Uh, and then the instrumentalists who came along and played for us. Uh, after that, we had the community choir, uh, and finally, uh, the Wesley Singers and my own choir, which was called Anunov. And we were thrilled to bits that the hall was absolutely full, and they had to bring in more seating uh, at the back to accommodate everybody who wanted to come. So, sounds very, very exciting to me. Uh, you really uh, put a, bit, a lot of effort into this. Uh, looking down here from the balcony, as you can see, there's more and more people turning up. So uh, I hope you're going to have uh, plenty of food left over. <laughs> I think we'll have plenty. Yeah, I've got some in my boot to bring out as well. And uh, yeah, it's just been fantastic to be able to celebrate after two years of COVID restrictions and for everybody to be able to come out and see each other again and participate in a, in a really good community event. And Flanid Lois does community events really well. It's a very strong community around here. Everybody is pulled together. Well, uh, thank you, Angela. Thank you for coming along uh, to be interviewed. And uh, I'll let you carry on uh, with the rest of the day. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> So any 
don't let him slip away in And he don't take that train And it's not people tell me My name's Glyn Preston. I'm the county councillor, newly elected county councillor for Sandy Lois Ward. Well, Glyn, I understand that uh, you're one of the uh, youngest county councillors that uh, has ever been elected in Powys. That's right. Um, so, congratulations. Uh, would you like to tell me a little bit about what's happening here today? Well, dear Hamar, thanks ever so much. Um Yes, I mean, we're having a wonderful Jubilee celebrations in Llanid Lois, not just today with the, uh, the street party, but all the festivities over the, over the weekend. And I just think it's fantastic that as a community, we're able to come together after, you know, what's been a very trying three years and everybody coming together and enjoying themselves and, and in celebration of our, you know, Her Majesty. It looks uh, as if uh, there's hundreds of people here today and I can see there's more and more arriving all the time. Uh, I was just saying to Angela Rion, I hope you've got enough food to uh, feed everybody. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I, uh, yeah, I, need, I need to make sure I'm going to go and grab some lunch from one of the local uh, shops. We're very blessed in Shenandoah. We've got plenty of cafes and pubs which do amazing food. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, it's just lovely here in the town today and lovely that we've got the sun, sun with us currently anyway. And of course, uh, we mustn't uh, forget why we are here. Absolutely. Um, I mean, you know, 70 years, gosh, what an amazing um, life of public service Her Majesty has had. And I think we can all be appreciative, whether we're royalists or republicans, of that commitment to our great country. It's very typical, really, of Llanid Lois as a community. Uh, I've 
been fortunate to have been here celebrating events like this in the honor of Her Majesty the Queen for a very long time. I was here for the Silver Jubilee, the Golden Jubilee, etc. And this community always comes together. Whatever your political views are, wherever you come from, we always pull together and support Her Majesty the Queen because she served this country brilliantly for the last 70 years. She hasn't put a foot wrong. And it's our privilege, I think, to be here today to celebrate this wonderful 70 years of her reign. And not only are we doing it for her, but the community enjoys getting together. And it's the first time they've been able to do it for the last two years. And you can see from the turnout today that they're coming here in their crowds. They're enjoying themselves. They've been together meeting old friends. And what is amazing too is how many tourists are here today who are obviously staying in the area and have come to Planet Lois to celebrate. So it's a very special day and thank goodness it isn't raining. We're going to enjoy it and it's going to go on for a few hours yet. Well, my husband sent me along to a council meeting and um, he said, do two things, please. Say that you're from the Cricket Club and please do not volunteer to do anything. <laughs> and, and, and here I am. And you, didn't listen, and you didn't listen to him, obviously. No. <laughs> and here we are. And it's been taking from February just a small core of people, just three people, Angela, myself, and Graham from the market and from the initial days until here now and the sun is shining and everybody is out. And I understand uh, Maggie dealt with the entertainment, is that right? Yes, Maggie's with the entertainment, she's provided a full score of every half an hour. We've got cheerleaders now, we've got the, um, the war mime from the Young Farmers next for a half an hour and it goes on with local bands, local musicians, singers, um, until seven o'clock tonight. Well, the, well, the, uh, the sun uh, looks as if it's going to stay out all day now, so that's brilliant. Yeah. So the, all the umbrellas can go by from this morning, and uh, everybody now is obviously going to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. They certainly come here with their food to share with people. They're coming, they're getting involved, they're doing the activities. It looks like where the community has come out in force. I'm Chetna Pesafonti and we moved to this area about 10 months ago and currently we live in Travaglois. Yeah. Well, they tell me that you've been dealing with all the food today. Oh, yes. Is that right? 
Oh yes, they have asked me to cook for the volunteers. So the last couple of days I've been busy cooking rice, dal and the gojet curry with coconut. Yeah. We're looking at the crowd here today. Do you think you've made enough? Um, I think so, yeah. <laughs> well, let's hope so. So how is it going anyway? Um, not too bad. He's getting busy um, slowly, slowly, because I think all the other volunteers are still busy doing the other jobs. So hopefully, you know, I won't have any leftovers to take back home. Well, looking at this now, I've never seen so many people here in the, on this uh, high street. Uh, certainly, um, the sunshine's certainly brought them out. Yes, definitely. I mean, the stuff is going on here. It's lovely and it's lovely to see so many people out and about and enjoying. And we got the weather on our side as well. So, yeah, we've been lucky, really, haven't we? <laughs>